My journey in the camp profession actually began as a child. Uh, I was seven years old when I attended an all-male basketball camp as the first and only female camper. Uh, ten years later, I joined their CIT program and by my sophomore year in college, I was one of their program directors. Uh, while studying English language teaching, I started the English language programs of the camp. Uh, I was a part of the management team for a long time and 22 years after my first camp as a camper, I became their first female camp director. My journey in the camp profession began about nine years ago, thanks to Mr. Jogi and Dr. Green, who came to Nigeria to sensitize us and to conduct some training about what organized camping was all about. And since then, I have been unstoppable when it comes to the world of camping. I was involved the first time uh, with camps in uh, 1980 when my mother first opened the, the, the first camp. I was only 14 and I was helping as a counselor. My brothers and I run the business and we also have our children now who are the third generation who are looking after the camps. Uh, what we focus on at Camp Cezanani, it's life skills education, it is psychosocial support, through residential camps as well as their day camps that we do throughout the year. My journey in the camp profession started when I first took part in, a, in the international camp in Turkey in 2010, which was Children of the World Camp that was organized in parallel to the FIBA World Cup. So I was a, uh, an under 14 basketball coach and I had two um, young kids from Palestine um, representing Palestine in this camp. And then I also started camps in Palestine, um, giving the opportunity for, for different kids to come together from different parts of Palestine, which is um, a rare opportunity for young kids to come together if they're coming from different cities because of the divide. Right now, the big picture frame of my time is to share my ideas with others, impact on people's lives, make camp professionals, all around the world, learn more, um, keep pushing, and keep making positive difference in the world. I'm hoping to bring my lifelong passion of camps together with my passion for nonviolent communication. Is to run my organization as well as to contribute my share to uh, the development of uh, camp industry in China helping to build a bridge between China camp industry and the international camp industry. It's to create a community of young ones learning and sharing and growing and developing in the camp world and becoming the positive catalyst for change in our world today. My next focus is to get the international students to Palestine uh, and that would be a main focus um, for the years to come. How much agency they have as young people to change their circumstances, to fight for what they believe is good and is, um, has a positive impact on their lives. I continue to learn from them and I continue to listen to them to see how we grow together. Being a woman in the camp has challenged me to bring up my children at the same time working in the camp. It has challenged me to become a decision maker when I was 25. Being a woman in the camp profession in Palestine has challenged me to think about ways of promoting the camp, the importance of camp, um, and also then taking into consideration the tradition and culture that is followed here in Palestine. It was really challenging to be able to take uh, young girls to international camps. Within the years, uh, the camps expanded and the reputation was built, um, and everyone is eager to be able to take part in these camps just because they see how much it has affected their kids uh, on a life skills level, but also on their educational level. 
Um, being a woman in the camp profession in Turkey has challenged me to walk an unlocked path uh, in a culture where patriarchy runs deep, uh, even in the most liberal setting. Uh, so I had to be the first in presence and in action to everything and uh, face the challenges without uh, the companionship of another experienced woman. It was challenging yet inviting as I was able to challenge the status quo, uh, get results and move forward most of the time. Uh, today the woman representation in Future Stars is 50% uh, in the junior management team since 2018 and in, his, in the senior management team um, since 2020. By this year basically um, all management teams of Future Stars are 50% female. I'm proud of all, all women who work day and night, uh, literally, putting their hearts and souls into the camp and made this real. Being a woman in the camp business in Spain, it's a bit difficult, especially in the higher positions, uh, due to the fact that it's complicated to combine being a mother and working at the same time. Um, although we have some rights, uh, we don't have enough, and this is one of the things we are working every year. Um, right now, out of the four camps, we have two women who are directors, so we're very happy that we're working hard, but there's still so much to do. Being a woman in the camp profession in, in Greece has uh, challenged me to sound older when I speak with parents or organizations, to sound younger when I speak with the campers, and to sound authoritative when I have to speak with suppliers. On challenges we face based on being a woman in my country, Nigeria, ranges from patriarchy and gender inequality and this has not stopped me to um, put myself out there when it comes to um, camp professions in Nigeria. You know, I may not have the physical strength of a man, but then when it comes to being, uh, when it comes to doing something physical, for instance, when we want to have um, camping activities and we need to move some things from here to there, I don't take the back seat. <laughs> I'm always there to do whatever I can do. And when it comes to mental activity too, I'm always there. So this has really challenged me a lot. Being a woman in camp profession in Nigeria is actually a very challenging thing because camp in Nigeria is relatively new and not part of our way of life or culture or tradition. So being a woman in camp profession has challenged me to learn, seek for skills and become empowered in order to be able to administer camp programs and projects possible and realistic in Nigeria. Being a woman in camp profession in China has challenged me a lot to face the facts that people don't like women to be leaders and the women are willing to be assistants of men. To allow the kids to learn from me, from the gender norms and the stereotypes that they are exposed to at home, that through my role as a leader in the, in the camp in South Africa at Camp Susanna and the team that we have, um, we are able to be role models and be able to, you know, already create an environment that allows them to um, engage and be able to understand how to start breaking those gender norms uh, for themselves in their own families and communities. We struggle teaching values to our children because both of the parents work Nowadays they don't have time and they rely on the teachers doing that at school. At the same time, teachers are more concentrated in teaching the subject and following the curriculum. So we include uh, working with social and emotional um, skills and we, we work really hard to teach, to make sure that they go back home knowing all our values. In Greece, we struggle with the fact that education and 
family values have relaxed a bit. A lot of parents tend to choose the easy way and often bad behavior of their children comes with no consequences. CAMP addresses this issue by teaching our campers our CAMP values. We teach them that we are kind, we have manners, we are team players, we support each other, and we do this with love. And then we hope that they will choose to honor these values outside of camp as well. Serious issue that we struggle with in my country, Nigeria, there are lots of them, lots of them. But issues that we struggle with and camp addresses them, ranges from some of our young persons not having confidence in themselves, some of our young persons not being able to um, do good for themselves. So the camp organizes events that talks about having self-confidence, that talks about having, that talks about believing in yourself. So we have various activities, we have various events that you know addresses this issue of not having self-confidence. Since camping is a new concept, it needs the first of all acceptance by the people, by the persons living in Nigeria. And we address this by carrying out discussion, orientation, and discussions with groups that are working with young ones. We also have the challenges of um, posed by the economic situation of Nigeria. This has to do with the poverty level that we are experiencing in Nigeria. And we address this by seeking voluntary donations and support whenever we have camp programs. In our country, Palestine, we struggle with dropouts of youth uh, and schools due to the economical circumstances that Palestine goes through, that the youth uh, at 10th grade, once they're done, they need to go and support their families. So they work uh, as workers in the labor market. Um, so this is a challenge that we are always uh, trying to tackle um, within the camps that we are implementing and also gender equality and health issues. Um, so through sports, we designed the programs uh, in the camp um, to tackle these issues and align them to the uh, sustainable development goals. Um, so each uh, theme of a camp um, tackles one of these issues that we are working on uh, and that we are addressing. So for instance, we have camps that focus on vocational education, raising awareness of the youth to um, know more about the pathways that they can take in terms of education, to be able to go stronger in the labor market uh, to support their families economically. And also in terms of gender equality, we do camps with that focus on raising the awareness of the rights for girls in terms of education, in terms of sports, in terms of work, um, for both youth, uh, females and males, uh, to support each other and to be empowered and to be um, have that capacity to know what steps needs to be taken. And also as youth to come up with different solutions to support um, the theme that we are talking about or that we are addressing, that they are part of the solution. We have that participatory approach. In Russia, we really struggle with local authorities, with inspections, with parent stereotypes and violation of personal boundaries. In Turkey, I believe we struggle with um, owning our own voice and authenticity as well as meeting our needs of being seen and heard as Turkish culture is needed around sympathy rather than empathy. Um, and camp addresses this by holding uh, such a safe, safe space for children and young adults where they can build caring relationships amongst each other and find a nourishing guidance uh, which is crucial to their growth and transformation into their adult lives. In China, we struggle with very limited playtime for our kids. 
and the camp addresses it by developing programs to match the schedule of the students,、uh, building collaborations with the schools. And、uh, making strategy according to our government、uh, policies.、Uh, we have a lot of gender-based、uh, violence.、Um, our young people are experiencing various mental health issues, and、um, we have a high prevalence of teenage pregnancies and、uh, unwanted pregnancies. Um, the last one that I want to talk about is infections, HIV, AIDS,、uh, STIs,、uh, and really how we address these is through our life skills program. So how we en- engage the children is very much through role playing, through acting it out, through skits,、um, and also through demonstrations. So we actually show them what is it to have an STI. What does an STI look like? As an example. So that's really how we impact our youth and our children. As I talk to you, we have in 16 days of、um, activism against gender violence, and so all this gets covered through the program. What really surprises our clients when they come for the first time at English Summer is the fact that we have everything so well organized. They they say that. We spend time on the little details, which makes everything important. Especially、uh, treating the students as individuals, writing the names on their bed, the shelf, etc. They they also have a very good impression when we do the first the, the check in when they arrive. We do a first tutorial. The the, the monitor the the council wants to know every single detail about their kids so that we can, it helps them be more integrated and it helps the monitor. Um, look after them in a proper way. I don't know if somebody needs to have their light on when they go to bed, or or they find it hard to eat vegetables. All those little details,、uh, they write it down so that they know and they can spend more time on that particular student. That in Turkey camp is not something most families have heard of. A camps association of Turkey is still very young,、um, and. There are very few pioneer camps in the field that work very hard to show the value and vitality of camp in children's lives.、Uh, Future Stars, for instance, offers a variety of programs for kids to improve hard skills like excelling at basketball, language development, or robotics. And at the same time, they support these programs so well for children to actually improve their soft skills such as resilience, perseverance, and empathy. Uh, families, on the other hand, usually look for academic success in Turkey, and only recently beginning to realize、uh, the larger picture. There is a very young staff,、uh, with an average of 20 years of age for counselors and 23 years of age for management,、um, and have worked diligently to build a system of succession where young leaders constantly take responsibility, real responsibility. So they have a real toolbox. Uh, when they are in a critical position, they also all see themselves、um, as vital for the work of camp. Yet also understand the need to help equip the next person to be ready to replace them、uh, when the time comes. In Russia, camps can host more than one thousand children per session. I think people would be surprised that in Palestine, when we are planning for a camp. We always plan for a plan A, plan B, and plan Z for the matter to have the camp organized. We try to make、um, the camps that where we have youth from different parts of Palestine、um, that we organize for it that it is、um, with a sleepover, so that youth don't have to go back and forth every single day,、um, going through different.、Uh, Circumstances to reach the camp, and we usually have also international trainers joining us, or international volunteers to also give this cultural exchange、um, in the camp. I can say categorically that it is only our camp, Lamlake Youth Camp Initiative in Nigeria. It is the only camp that exists in the whole of Nigeria. We use the element of play. We use gaming element to teach. Our young persons, and this surprises a whole lot of people. And at the end of the day, it works. So, that camp includes 
very unique tools such as play to teach lifelong lessons and great formative skills that brings out the best in every young or every individual person. In China, camp includes great hard resources, a perfect natural environment, beautiful buildings and activity spaces and the equipments, but at the same time we haven't uh, prepared the soft resources well. Uh, for example, we haven't formulated a plan for constructions of personnel training. We haven't uh, worked out uh, better solutions for programs when camp, uh, when camp receive a larger scale participants. Through our APL International Camp, we engage them, we start seeing them coming out. We start seeing children that came in and really scared of water, slowly being comfortable and having fun in the water. We also see kids open up to talk about their feelings, to talk about you know their, their dreams and hopes, what they would like to achieve in the future. We start seeing kids just being kids and having fun and really looking forward to not leaving camp, which is not what we can do for them. But, but you know, for us, it's really seeing them become um, our extended family and become one of us. I think people would be surprised that at Delphi Camp, we normally have parent visitation days every Sunday. The campers are allowed to have their cell phones at camp under conditions. There is no need to, com to compost the organic waste from the kitchen because we give it to pigs. We have a no coffee policy and I can explain that in the Q&A if you want. And also we have schedule, scheduled in the camper shower times and, we may, and the counselors make sure that each camper showers at least once a day. What I love about camp is the future for kids, the adults, and the education I have seen from it. Camp has shaped my life because I have found the best way to spend my time and efforts to achieve my goals and to live my life. That we live in a magical world. Everyone is happy, although on the last day they cry because they don't want to leave. But that is my favorite time of the, of the summer, seeing all the children. And now, because 40 years have gone by, so now they bring their children. They want their children to live the same experience they once did. Come, let you be who you are. Come doesn't let you pretend. It lets you come out to the world that this is who I am and the camping world will accept you, will appreciate you just the way you are. And camp has really shaped my life in different ways that I can never imagine. It has made me meet different people. I'm talking about top people out there. And with this, I am very appreciative. And even sometimes I'm surprised myself that I know the people that I know right now in the camping world. So the camping, camping has really shaped my life. It has helped me to become a better version of myself. So thank you to camp. Every camp is a different camp from the previous camps that we had. So there's so much dynamity, there's so much, um, you know, vibrancy, and there's so much fun there's so much learning and there's so much uh, depth that comes with uh, being at camp and some challenges as well. Okay. Uh, camp has shaped my life. Um, yes, it did. <laughs> because well, I was an invisible child uh, to my overly worked parents and um, discipline centered school. And um, I was seven years old when this young camp counselor came up to me. Uh, while I was shivering with fear at the entrance 
and he went down on his knees <laughs> to meet my eyes and um, well, welcomed me with the most sincere smile on his face and in that moment I felt that I was visible and my presence would be cherished here that um, I was valuable just by being here people they are really wonderful and your team is wonderful they are open-minded they are flexible they are amazing and they can share any crazy idea you've got it's a simple and unique way we learn through play it is so unique and dynamic i can't have shaped my life in the way that i have become more resilient more loving more patient more understanding more innovative more creative because of what i have learned through camping the effect that it has on the people in the camp as trainers as directors as youth in these camps um, that it has on their whole life and not only during the camp um, the family that comes out of this camp, that they are joined uh, forever and always after this camp. Um, even when they come to the camp um, feeling um, as separated, coming from different communities or environments or backgrounds, during the camp they become really one family. For me, it shaped my life um, that I wanted to give back to the community. What I have gained through camp, I wanted to give that to the youth of Palestine. Um, yeah, camp is everything. Thank you to camps. What I love about camp is that it gives us the chance to discover things about ourselves. Camp has shaped my life because camp is my whole life. During the summer, I am at camp and during the rest of the year, I am planning for camp and I'm dreaming of camp.